Welcome to Ofio. In today's video, we are going to study a video ad made by Marina Bay Sands, Singapore's most iconic luxury hotel owned by the Las Vegas Sands Corporation. We'll break down what works in their ad and create a similar template in Ofio for you. Let's start breaking down the video from the first scene. Observation 1, get to the point. The main message is shown in a split second. It holds the scene for another two seconds to allow the viewer to finish glancing through the text. According to Facebook, mobile users spend an average of 1.7 seconds browsing an individual post. Should the user swipe past your content, at least they caught a glimpse of your main message. With some targeting, repeating the ad to the user can create top-of-mind awareness to your brand. Observation 2. Use relevant images. The images chosen for the ad might very well be stock images, but it helps the viewer associate the items. A pillow, camera, and great food, to a staycation. It helps build the story in the viewer's mind to strengthen the message or creates curiosity on what is this about. Here are some extra tips from Facebook Business Help Center. 1. Use high-quality images. 2. Show your product, service or brand. 3. Have a clear focus on your image. Observation 3. Text. We won't touch on the copywriting in today's video, let's instead focus on the font choice and placement. The usage of different font sizes and weights were chosen consciously. The differentiation creates a visual hierarchy and leads the viewer's attention to where we want them to look at first. In this example, the campaign name, Dine On Us and Pricings are bolded for emphasis. The priority for the font was to make it easy to read. Time was not wasted trying to squint our eyes on a small font size or deciphering cursive handwriting. It's placed neatly in the middle so there's no need to scan anywhere else. The color contrast against a clean and light colored background also made the text stand out. We can also use some simple text animation like flickering or bouncing to attract viewers' attention. In the last scene, the pricing is being emphasized by having a slight bouncing animation. Observation 4. Visual Storytelling Keep your main message short and concise. Get straight to the point and be clear on the messaging. Avoid having too many messages in your video ad and allow your viewers enough time to read and react. In this 15 seconds video ad, we can see how MBS planned out the video. The main message is followed by three supporting scenes to help enhance the message. In the last scene, the main message is reiterated again to conclude the video. Observation 5. Layout. The ad had a nice and clean layout. The images also had a healthy breathing space from the text, and that helped to grab the viewer's attention without overpowering the main message. The choice of background is also deliberate. A neutral textured background doesn't steal any attention yet can still add a little dynamism of color to the design. Observation 6. Add duration. The whole video is 15 seconds long. With each scene taking around 3 seconds. The consistency of the scene subconsciously paces the viewer on when the next scene will come. Text used in each scene can also be easily read within the three-second window. Now let's proceed to replicate this video ad in Ofio. Start with creating a new project. Let's use an empty canvas and select Stories Format. We begin by uploading the images that we want to use. Once it's ready, let's set up the stage by inserting the background image. Fit it to the height and width of the canvas. Reduce the duration of the scene to 3 seconds. Next, let's insert our text. I am using the font Playfair Display. Let's bold our main title for emphasis.
Change the font color to a nice gray shade. Let's add shadow to our main title. I am going to duplicate our main title to create our subtitle. Unbold it, italic it, and reduce the font size. Next for the body text, let's duplicate the subtitle. Remove italics and reduce the font size. For the pricing text, let's also bold it for emphasis. Align our text layers to the center of our canvas. Let's start inserting our images. Use the Remove Background tool to remove the image's background. Adjust the size and position. Place them neatly and scattered around the text. We'll also add some shadow to these images for some perception of depth. We'll also want to add some animation to add some life to the design. Let's do slide in and slide out animations. Pro tip, group the text layers together to animate them all at once. Add in the fade in animation for the texts. Stagger the animation to give different entry times. With that, we're done with the first scene. Let's move on to scene two. Select all scenes to navigate to the storyboard. Duplicate our first scene and enter it. We want this scene to focus on images so let's remove all the text layers. Navigate to the graphics tab, select shapes and insert a square to our canvas. We want to use this to create a Polaroid film look. Change the shape's color to white and insert our image now. Adjust the size of the image and crop to fit it into the square. Next, let's add text. I am using the font average. Change the font color to the same gray shade as our main title. Add shadow to the square layer behind. Group the white square, our image and the text layer so we can animate them together. Adjust the rotation a little so it looks more natural. Use the slide in for the entrance animation. Slide for emphasis. and a slide out for the exit animation. Then let's replace our surrounding images. Select replace image to quickly change the images without affecting the shadow and animation.
For scenes 3 and 4, let's duplicate scene 2 and do some minor tweaks. Replace the images in the Polaroid and change the texts accordingly. For scene 5, we are going to take scene 1 as our base, so let's duplicate that scene. Add a line of text to indicate the duration of the event. Ungroup the pricing from the other text layers. And select Heartbeat for the emphasis animation. Replace the surrounding images and rearrange their position. For this scene, let's remove the exit animation for all layers. Once done, let's do the final touches by adding a music track. Export the video to see what we've achieved. We hope this tutorial helps you understand how to create a video ad like MBS in Ofio. Remember that a great ad requires not only a good design but engaging copies as well for the best result. See you next time, 